be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. It's caught by Aguilar. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Wentz. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected. But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he's struggling, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. This is caught. We got this. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first. Got a man open. It hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The three-yard touchdown pass. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. And he's such a talented tight end. Just creates nightmarish type matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with faint praise, aren't we? Because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You go cover him. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Trubisky to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now Trubisky on third and long, being chased out left. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. I'll tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. To throw again on second down, Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. 15 yards on the play, first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long, that throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm gonna keep firing. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. 
Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. The Bears offense led by Mitch Trubisky heading back out there. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, your two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors yet still play perfect football. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Trubisky. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Throwing here, Trubisky. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Team six. Team six. Watch the screen. Pass. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Get in the weight room. Get in the weight room. Ran, ran, up. Hey, exit. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Check four, check seven. Now Trubisky on first down. He's going to air one out. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. What was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then gets it with the Eagles. And I believe it's... And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And it's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. After the interception, here's Trubisky, able to find Shaheen here. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Tighten up. Tighten up. Move, move, move. 57 is the mic. Watch 57. I got you. I got you, son. I got you, son. Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky, and he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. 
That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The Bears on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Here's Trubisky. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Forced out to his left. He's going to let it fly. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. 18, 18, 18. 57 is the mic. Hey, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. 57 is the mic. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Hey, Wahoo! Throwing now is Trubisky. Complete. Smith has it. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. Pushing the foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. To throw his wins. Completes it to Aguilar. And now to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Nelson Aguilar. 